This is the Digitally Rebastard Network. Howdy game heads and welcome to another episode of Winning the West with me, your host Eli Williams here in Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, this week we're going to go back and see Leopold Strauss and uh, I'm sure he's going to be none too happy that I absolved those uh, uh, debts that I uh, was supposed to go out and collect. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Wow. Wow. <coughs> Whoa, look what that did to my honor. Oh, my. That shot up a great deal. Well, I wanted to... I wanted to bring my honor up, and that certainly did. Okay, so let's take a look here on the map and see what we got. Um, looks like we've got uh, Edith Downs in uh, Annisburg. So let's go pay them a visit and see what that's all about. Wow, we just kicked Strauss out of the camp. Of course, he, he was a bit of a bastard. People borrowed money off of him, and he wants me to be his leg breaker. And I'm tired of doing it. So I'm glad I did what I did instead of taking their money and being a bad guy. That, uh, that made a heap of difference on my honor. Wow. And I better... I better get the uh, I better get the gear out. We're riding through Murphy Country, and you never know when those crazy hillbillies are gonna pop out of the woodwork. I forgot to turn in my stuff to Pearson. That was, man, that was that was some drama. That was some major drama. Okay, we are here, so we're not gonna run into we're not gonna run into any Murphys down here. Goodness gracious sakes alive, that was something else. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought Strauss was gonna be like pissed off at me. And uh I read me the riot act for not collecting that money. But that, that went way different than I thought it was going to. 
Yeah, All right. Blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Yeah, not sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> this is down. <gasps> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... <laughs> Well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brother, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Ah. Well, it's all catching up with me. Well, let's go do some good. Let's go to the mine and fix this problem for her. Take a shotgun with me, just in case it gets hairy in there, because it's good for close combat. Hey boy! <laughs> hey boy, your mom's a nope. Just gonna boy. make me use pistols. Oh, your mom's a whore. That's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh, all right. oh. <laughs> Who's this? Your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Can you... Can you... <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Wow. I didn't bring my honor up, but uh, certainly took care of that. Let's see what else we got going on here. Um, let's go back up and visit the uh, Charlotte, the widow. Let's see what she needs. She's got something going on up there. Let's go. Let's go see her. Banshee. Let's go see the widow and see if we can do some more good. <laughs> and let's get the... Uh... Yep, 
get the Lancaster out because we are going through Murphy Country and we're also going to ride right through Cougar Country too. And I really don't want any doings with either one of them. But my gut tells me we're probably going to run into either Murphy's or a Cougar. Or a tree. Might be a tree. Could be running into a tree. You never know. Jesus. All right. I steer left and Banshee just rides right into a tree. What's this? I just stopped on the road. Playing a juice harp? That's interesting. That was a black bear. Feel it, man. Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you got to hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, come and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. <sighs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my... <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Honor goes up again. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Well, this is interesting. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. 
I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost uh -oh. in it. Crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself uh -oh. making fresh vegetables, He's having an episode. sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're going to be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Oh my. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I'm I I'm not know taking that money. If it gives me the option, I'm not taking that money. Oh, I put my old Arthur hat on. <clears throat> uh, I'm not taking that money. Nope. All right, so that concludes another episode, and uh, we did some good stuff. We uh, we did some very good stuff, so I'm very pleased about that. So thank you guys for watching. hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. First, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network, as well as join us on Twitter and Discord by clicking those two links in the bottom right-hand corner of the banner on our channel page. Become part of the DRN family. We will welcome you with open arms. You've been watching Winning the West with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Red Dead Redemption 2. You all have a great week and a great day, and I'll see you all next time.